Here on Just 3D Corner, I really enjoy printing in multiple colors. I actually have an entire playlist about multicolor printing and different techniques you can use. Well, now there's a new kid on the block. Its name is Hue Forge, and we're going to look into that and look into how you can do these fantastic multicolor prints on a single extruder next on the corner. Hey, it's me, Jeff. Welcome back to the corner. This time around, we're going to talk about Hue Forge. Now, what Hue Forge is, is a filament painting software. Okay. Uh, as of the time of this video, it's only available for Windows 10 and 11. And it is a pay per use software. So I did buy the personal license, which was $12 US. And the reason why I'm actually paying for this is because if you Google Huge Forge and just look at the images, you'll see some of the incredible pieces of art this program's able to produce. These things look truly outstanding. As a matter of fact, even if you go to printables, you can look at some of the creations that people have made. I believe there's about over a hundred as of the time of the publishing of this video. And they truly look outstanding. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the program itself, Hue Forge, and I'll give you a couple of tips and tricks and some things I like and some things I don't like about it. So here we go. So once you're in Hue Forge, you're going to see a bunch of sliders down here. These are actually your color sliders. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the slider. You're going to select your color or set your filament. It comes preloaded with a bunch of polylight and polyterra filaments. Example, we can put a red one here. And then when you drag your picture in, let's go in here. You're going to open your file to image and it comes with a bunch of preloaded images. I think we've seen this one before. So this is the preloaded image. This is the image you'll be working on. You can add some preloaded color schematics. These got nature, none, sunlit, orange, water. Let's try water. So you see how you have the blue and the white by adjusting these sliders, you get a little bit more intense with certain stuff. You basically just have to play around with it a little bit until you get kind of what you like by adjusting the sliders again. Um, she's nice and white. And there you go. So it gives you the ability to kind of play around. So I'm going to show you kind of a few things that I worked on doing this. As well as a couple hints and tips of how to get pictures cut and stuff. I um, brought in this model of Pluto because he's my wife's favorite character from Disney. And we're going to print this in. We have black, brown, white, yellow, and orange. Now by adjusting the sliders you get your different tones and stuff. I think I have Pluto pretty close there. And he's looking pretty good with the way I have my sliders adjusted right now. So. Let's print him up. My first attempt. That looks pretty good. Actually, I am impressed. That's awesome. All right, let's see if I can get off the plate. So, we're going to go into Hue Forge. Let's try something that will be topical. So, Indiana Jones just came out with a new movie. I'm going to go see that on uh, Friday. I'm quite excited. Or Thursday, actually, opening day. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at Mr. Jones here. Actually, that came out pretty good. I don't even really have to. Maybe the darks are a little bit too dark. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tinker around with it a little bit until I get it to kind of close to the other side. Um, this is the same color palette as Pluto, of course. So we're going to kind of have a look at it and fiddle and hopefully get it decent and then do a print. So here we go. There's Mr. Indiana Jones ready for his dial, his dial or his date with Destiny. With Trying to get you a good view. Again, the photos really don't do it justice when you see it like with your eyes, but here he is, Mr. Jones. He looks pretty darn good. So let's see if I can take you through the setup that I kind of use in order to um, cut some prints down and to find some photos. So I'm going to do a black and white monochrome. I want to do uh, high res, which is what I'm searching for. So I got the tiger right here. I think he's really cool. Looks like it might pop a bit, really liking it. So what you're gonna do is, so when you choose your picture and you get a thumbnail on the side, just kind of look at the resolution on the side here. The higher the number, the better. Um, it'll give you a much crisper picture when you're done. You wanna save this. Then we're gonna open up Paint 3D. We're gonna go open. We're gonna open the picture that we just opened up. And we're going to look for the uh, magic select, okay? We're going to crop this a little bit. You don't really need to crop on this one because it's all a black background. But in general, if you have background stuff, you're going to want to crop it a bit. Get it close to it. Click Next. Uh, you'll see that blue, blue outline on the photo. That's perfect. You're going to go Done. When we have this here, you can move the line around. You see how it doesn't have the background anymore? That's what we're going to print. Once we have this down, we're going to go transparent canvas on and show canvas off. Now that we have that, I like to just center my line and get it done with, or my tiger, my picture. Then we're going to save, save as. We're going to save it as a PNG file. Once we do that, we're going to be ready to import it into HugeForge. We're going to do that right now. And in HugeForge, we're going to go open image. We're going to find wherever we saved our tiger or our image, and we're going to bring that in. See right there. Once we've got our image in, we're just basically uh, scroll it a little bit, but we want to make sure we're going to be on grade scale here. That's important. So that's going to give us a black, a white, and two shades of gray. Um, now, I didn't calibrate my filaments for this. I'm just using a black, a white, and then two shades of gray. So I'm going to hope it's going to be good. Um, basically play around with your sliders a little bit. Try to get the lion or the tiger as nice as possible. I think I'm getting pretty close here. You can always adjust your shades if you need to, to get closer to what you have or if you put your, your filaments in. As I say, I am just using the filaments that they have. So once I adjust everything, I'm going to then go to print. After playing around with the settings for a little bit, I feel that I'm very close to what I want for my end product. So I'm going to go in and I am going to save this. So basically you're just going to go up and you're going to save your project. Call this Tiger. We'll save this bad boy. You don't need to save the STL as well. Just one will do. And then let's go into our slicer. So here is my first challenge though that I hope they fix with a bug fix. And if somebody has a solution to this problem, please leave it down below in the comments. I want to make this tiger as big as possible, but I can only make him so big because of the outside frame of the PNG file. It won't allow me to slice it. Hopefully a bug fix can fix that in a further update. But for now, I guess I'm just going to have to print it at 150%. So the outside frame will fit inside the bed and allow me to slice it. Once I've got it scaled, I will bring up the print file, which is what you just saw. And it will tell me what layers to change the filament on. This will be in your projects file along with your STL. 
So basically we're going to follow the instructions here and we're going to add the layers according to the instructions. When you're slicing, make sure your layer height and your initial layer height are the same as what's specified in the file. Also make sure you're at 100% infill. Another quirk is you have to re-slice it after every time you change the color. Now this isn't Hue Forge's challenge, this is simply a challenge with the slicer I'm using, but eventually you should be able to get all your colors in and it should give you a fairly decent preview. And now that's it, we're finally ready to print. So let's print this guy out and then have a look. I'm printing these with my X1 Carbon with a, an AMS system, but you can print this with any printer that supports filament changes. But look at that tiger, does that not look amazing? Again, using grayscale, I printed out this really cool picture. You can get some decent results with this as well. The program also gives you the ability to add your own filament. This is simply done by printing out their filoscope and their test discs. The discs are all at various thickness layers. You want to print these at 100%. And then what you're going to do is you're simply going to add the filament discs to the filoscope, look up to a light, and check the translucent level. Once you can't see the light through, that would be your translucent value and you would add that into the program. There are full explanations in other tutorials. And here's a showcase of all the prints I've tested this on. So here is the Eiffel Tower. I really like in the top corner how you have the shading for the clouds and in the bottom corner as well. We also have the tiger that I did Again, the same four colors as the Eiffel Tower. Again, looks fantastic. Now, all of these prints are about two to three millimeters thick. So if you have a practical applications for these, uh, business cards perhaps, um, door signs, whatever, I think that would be really cool. Dr. Jones looks amazing. And here's our buddy Pluto right here. So Hue Forge is a fantastic new development in multicolor printing for either multiple or single extruder machines. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And until next time guys, keep on printing.